How you doing? I'm Trini Sanders and you're tuned into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. Yes, this is the infamous Living Rim Network, guys, and we're doing a Celebrate Life Challenge this month. So make sure that you're celebrating every hour throughout your day. It's very important that you realize that you must celebrate your life because you never know what the next moment brings. You never know what the next trip down the road brings. You never know what the next day brings. You never know what tomorrow will bring. So it's very important that you treat right now like it's a golden age, like it's a golden moment. You know, you have everything to be happy for because everything that you have is all around you. It's just a matter of you opening up your eyes, your third eye, your perception, your understanding, your awareness. Have you guys seen the movie Lucy? Yeah, I know some of, yeah, some of you guys' brains lit up like light bulbs. Well, the movie Lucy, I highly suggest you to watch that movie because that's a prime example of how you begin to, you know, <clears throat> you begin to activate your brain once you begin to understand the concepts of consciousness, which I'm about to explain to you. I'm about to explain to you how your consciousness works. I'm going to explain to you what consciousness is, and I'm going to explain to you how your consciousness works according to your moods, the moods that you feel throughout the day. You feel lots and lots of moods all throughout the day, do you not? And sometimes we wonder, why is it that I'm very, very mad today? Or why is it that I'm very, very upset right now and depressed in this moment, but I am happy two hours from now? Or why was it that I was happy here, but I can't be happy here? And so... You probably struggle all throughout the day like everybody else does on how to keep your mood in this excited feeling. You know, how can you just be grateful? How can you just carry that gratitude? Is it that some people are, have more integrity and have more gratitude than you? Do you really think this is so? Or is it just you who's going through the phases of trying to stabilize yourself and to have stability in your thought life? <laughs> well, the answer is, guys, everybody has problems everybody's going through some type of struggle and everyone has these same problems when it comes down to the thought life but the people that actually embark upon you know harnessing their thoughts are the people like you and like me like-minded people guys thank you so much for tuning into the infamous living room network guys where we're making ourselves better we're making other people's lives better and we're making the world a better place so as you're feeling these moods all throughout the day, you begin to wonder, man, how can I keep myself in a positive mood? Well, this morning I actually did an experiment. I said to myself, I'm going to see what feelings I'm feeling that puts me in this level of consciousness, this level of consciousness, and this level of consciousness. This level of consciousness is happiness. This level of consciousness is depression. This level of consciousness is sadness. So you got sadness, you got depression, and you got excited and happy, okay? These are the three states of consciousness that we're in as a collective consciously, most of us, all throughout the day. But we're trying to stay happy. We're not trying to be depressed. And we're damn sure not trying to be upset and sad. So what type of moods put us in these different states of consciousness? So I said to myself affirmations this morning. I boosted myself up. I empowered myself. I talked to myself in, in the mirror and said, you are successful. Yes, you over there. You, I'm talking to you. You are successful. You know, and, and, and it, it, it helps you to talk to yourself. It helps you to motivate yourself. And it helps you to get yourself conjured up to feel that you're going to conquer the day. And so as I got myself in this mood, I let the rest take effect on me. See, you can give yourself affirmations. You can tell yourself how beautiful you are, how wonderful you are, and how great you will be for that day. But it won't necessarily start working right away. It may take an hour for your mind to process what you've just told yourself. Because after all, it is very weird to tell yourself something and for you to actually do it. Like, oh my God, I'm listening to myself. I'm going to do it right now. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Be happy. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Be sad. No, I'm happy, I'm happy. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's not, it doesn't work that hard. I mean, that, that fast. It doesn't work that fast for you to give yourself an affirmation. You actually do exactly what you told yourself. So I know with me, it took a little bit of time for my thoughts to, not, you know, gear me up, to activate the subconscious mind. Because thoughts in a conscious mind don't necessarily sink into the subconscious mind until over a duration of time. 
Do you know that? Yeah, I think you know that. And so as these thoughts sunk into the subconscious mind, I felt it. Maybe three hours after I was giving myself affirmations all morning when I woke up, I began to feel eternal bliss. I began to feel the feelings of oneness with myself. I began to feel the feelings of divine powers working for us because we're trying to do right. I was there, guys. I was there in the bliss of the moment. And I was completely aware of everything that was going on in my surroundings. You know, I was... My five senses were heightened. I could see better. Like everything became more clear, crystal clear. I could hear all sounds all around me. Bees flying in the air, somebody cutting grass down the street, cars going by, horns honking, people talking over there in their yard doing yard work. You know, the leaves falling off the trees and hitting the ground and, and crackling. Like I was hearing so many different sounds because I was in this level of consciousness. Now, as I'm, I'm, rem I'm remembering that I'm doing an observation of myself. I'm remembering the whole experiment as I'm feeling this. So I'm trying not to get too riled up in, you know, you know, fooling myself that I'm doing this versus, you know, having to get the information at the same time to come and tell you. So anyway, make a long story short, guys, I was there. And the reason why I was there because is because I did what I did before. I was talking to myself. And that's what you got to do. You got to talk to yourself, guys. You got to get in the habit of talking to yourself. A lot of people say that's weird. A lot of people say that's crazy. A lot of people say that you're a psychopath, you know. But if you got to mumble to yourself, mumble. You know, if you got to talk to yourself in your mind, talk to yourself in your mind. But the whole thing is you want to always make sure you're telling yourself positive stuff, guys. We live in a negative world only according to most people's perceptions. Most people perceive the world as negative. Therefore, we see action, more act, negative actions than we do positive actions. For instance, when you watch the news, you see more negative news than you do positive news. Or when you hear conversational talk, when you're, you overhear people talking in a social setting, most of the time you hear negative talking than you do positive talk. This is simply because most people around you perceive the world from a negative point of view. And they less likely are to use their mind to actually gear themselves up to think positive thoughts and to be a positive person and to say positive things. You're a very rare case. I think you're the nut. So I think you're the psychopath because you're so rare. You know, you're one of a kind. You know, we have like minds. So I, I, I know that you're definitely a one of a kind person. If you're even watching this video, you're very, very blessed. OK, you're a very special person and like attracts like you attracted this type of information to your life because this is who you are. You know, you're an enlightened person, meaning that you have this gift within you, this gift of being able to perceive things from a much higher dimension than a lot of other people do. You know, so. I was observing myself in that moment of happiness to tell you that, yes, in order to get there, guys, it takes a lot of self-talk. It's not stroking your ego. It's just filling you up, filling you up with the positive things. Because as soon as you wake up in the morning, guys, you have many different options to feel however you want to feel. Because the, the thought world, the awakening world is going to bombard you with multiple choice answers to choose from. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and the alphabet goes on. And you can choose joy, happiness, or you can choose depression, you know, from something that happened yesterday or the bills that ain't paid. Or you can choose anger, you know, having regret or animosity towards somebody that did something to you yesterday or something that immediately happens as soon as you wake up in the morning. Oh, my God, you're mad already because the mail carrier threw the mail and it hit your door and it woke you up or the alarm clock went off or you woke up too late and you're just angry because you woke up too late. You have a you have a. You have a option. You have options to choose, guys. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you know. And so, make sure that you're always talking to yourself all throughout the day, because you, if you're not careful and you don't keep those thoughts harnessed, you don't keep those thoughts, you know, in your grip, they will slip out of your hand and you will go into the abyss of nothingness, randomness. You might go into a field of depression. You might go into a field of anxiety. You might go into a field of stress simply because you're not harnessing your thoughts. 
when you're not harnessing your thoughts and you're not aware of anything, the mind it wonders. The mind wonders and brings up thoughts in the past or about yourself that may be filled with anxiety, depression, you know, anger, resentment, jealousy, just stuff that's in the past, old memories. You know, your old self, your lower self. It just gives you stuff to choose from and put on your big screen. So you always want to make sure you're picking the answers. You're picking the thoughts. You want to pick and pull. Pick and pull so you can keep this flow of energy flowing. And the more you continue to do it, the more you get in the habit of doing it. The more you continue to repeatedly repeat it through repetition, the more it becomes innate within you to be that type of person, which is a positive person. You know, a person who always knows that divine power is always working for them because you're trying to do right. See, the world around you, the universe, the divine powers don't start working for you until you're constantly in that positive state of mind. Are you able to stay in your positive state of mind no matter what type of negative things come your way? No matter what type of negative people are around you? Are you able to harness your mood? Are you able to stay peaceful within yourself? Even though somebody's over here arguing or somebody's over here upset and complaining and whining. It's very, very difficult. I know. Trust me. I've been there before, guys. You know, I've actually, you know, engaged in an argument, too. But I'm aware even after or even before. You know, sometimes I choose to get in. I mean, we, sometimes we know the truth, but we just kind of like, you know, we just want to tickle other people's fancy and just show them we're better being that we're enlightened. But, guys. That could be very, very detrimental to your journey, you know, and your growth. And it could set you back 10 yards. And you know how hard it is when you start using losing yardage in football. You know, you have to work that much more harder to press through the defense, the defense of negative thoughts in order to get to that touchdown, that end zone. The end zone is your higher self. And when you're in the end zone, guys, that's when you can dance and be joyful, you know. That's when you can be happy, guys. So... Make sure that you're always aware of your mood because your moods create your thoughts and your moods come from thought. So when you're feeling upset, think about what you're thinking about. Change the thought. Change the thought. If you got to think about something exciting, if you got to think about something happy, press through. Press through. Because, yes, defense, defense, which is just only you, your lower self, is going to fight against you to keep you from going back into that higher self. Because it, because your lower self is giving you what it thinks you want. Because if you keep sitting there thinking about something that you don't want to think about, it's going to keep bringing up more negative stuff to feed into it. You understand? You might even have somebody come around you and instigate it for you. <laughs> That's how powerful the mind works. That's how the universe works, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. This is Consciousness and Moves. I'm Trendus Henderson. This is the infamous Living Room Network. Until then, guys, make sure you're celebrating life every single day. Speak up. Let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment below. Share this video with a friend. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.